Well, it's midday in Fife in the Loman Hills. It's minus three by all accounts. So it's a cold day. It's the coldest day for probably three years in these parts. And it's unbelievably snowy. Probably the most snow we've had since 2013, maybe. About the same as we had got during the beast from the east, but that was much windier and it was gray. And so you didn't get the even cover like this. This is just the most beautiful cover. It's really, really soft. Perfect for snowshoe. I've got my big snowshoes on. I've got two pairs of snowshoes. I've got my bigger pair on, which hardly ever get used. I don't think I've used them in nine years because you need like soft, powdery, soft snow where you get, where you feel like you're floating. You just sort of, it's bliss. But I haven't used them since being up on Ben McDewey, I think in 2012, in May 2012. So it's quite unusual to be using those, but it feels amazing. Just the best weather. How anyone can't like this, I do not know. It's just, just sublime. I've had, I think, 25 centimeters of snow. And there's, I've been up, I don't actually have a plan. I'm just sort of wandering around, stravaging, if you will just wherever I feel like going. I've been up East Lomond already, and while I was up there, there's people snowboarding, there's people skiing, it's massive. Cornish has formed, just the most amazing conditions. I haven't seen the hill looking like that since probably 2010, I think, where I've been able to actually walk freely across all the heather, which is completely covered over. Normally you've got lots of heather poking out of the out of the snow and you still have to follow the paths I suppose but not today uniformly excellent cover and you can pick any line you want and just go I'm now down in the upper reaches of the Falkland estate in the spruce plantations which take on a uniquely beautiful appearance in weather like this it's with snow gently falling now as well. Oh. I was supposed to be working today actually. I took a, when the snow was falling yesterday, I took an impromptu holiday. I booked today and tomorrow off because as I always say, what if this is all we get? And you regret it if you didn't take the day off and make the most of it. So that's what I'm doing. Long may it continue though. really quiet. What's really striking for this snow event in a way that the, isn't the same for the other previous ones we've had this winter and other winters is that usually it snows only higher up and all out there on the Howard Fife on the flatland it doesn't really snow, you don't get snow so everyone knows to come up here to get the snow and so Craig Mead, the car park, and generally the hills in general, all the way up here, the Loman Hills are really, really busy. And on a day like this, normally you'd expect to hear the sound of wheels spinning, of stuck cars, lots of shouting, lots of laughing, kids on sledges, all that kind of thing, you know, that winter, the winter noises when the snow's down. But this time, it's so quiet up here because everyone's got snow. And a lot of it too, not just like that much. Everyone's got at least sort of 10, 15 centimetres. Even out on the coast, even out on sort of, you know, the East Nook, even that, that perennially snowless place has got snow. So people don't have to venture far, I suppose, to actually go and get their snow fix, which is why it's so quiet here. Craig Mead, the car park, there was one vehicle there. That was it. Just one, which is really odd. So it's quite unusual to be at Craig Mead on a day like this when it's so quiet really nice actually <laughs> it just feels like everyone's staying local everyone's staying where their snow is everyone's sort of out in their gardens out in the local parks because they've got the snow and up here it's nice and quiet in my back garden really nice